A look at this 200 TDI. We have a 100 amp alternator fitted on here. This is the Discovery engine and it's actually fitted to a 300 TDI vehicle which I adapted for travel to Russia and Ukraine. Now the heat on this is quite incredible. Um, we're talking at 40 degrees centigrade here ambient temperatures and the alternator has been running quite hard and that has heated up However, it's working quite well, and uh, as we're driving um, through Ukraine, it's performed brilliantly. What I'd like to uh, show you with this 200 TDI is uh, the wiring. This um, is the engine with the pipe stripped out of the way, and you can see here is the original um, 200 TDI pulley. Um, bolted into place. All right, you sometimes have to space it to get the um, belt in line. Right, remember this. This is quite important. And I'm going to cable tile that out of the way from the exhaust so it doesn't melt. This uh, alternator can cope quite well. Right. Um, however, the belt does tend to squeal if you load it up too much. Right. Especially from cold. Just remember that. So, um, looking at the back of the alternator, what we have here is uh, your power wire, okay. Um, you then have uh, your ignition light, okay, which is your battery power light. And then you'll have your speedo, okay. If you don't have a speedo signal, then this won't be connected, but um, you can't get these wrong. Okay. Now, I'm putting this into place, this, this actually hangs right, this is a Margetti Margelli one, and it's, this is actually rated at 127 amps, so I had the test certificate for this, this is a recognition unit. We used the Land Rover Discovery as a sure-footed 4x4 um, to cope with the Ukrainian roads, and uh, they are uh, quite arduous and demanding. The uh, alternator stuck at 14.4 volts. And looking at the voltmeter, that wasn't the uh, accurate. But basically, it coped with the job we gave it. 7,000 miles there and back works really well. I've got to give it to the uh, 200 TDI. What a brilliant engine.